Hey guys, so we are back in Florida at the plantation. Here's the van in the yard. We haven't really done much unpacking yet, but we're parked here and um, we're probably not gonna do much tonight. I think tonight we'll just move the mattress in. Some of the important stuff like the cooler and that's it, we'll call it a night. Right now we're doing some drinking and we just walked around and saw all the animals just to make sure everything's still good. Everything's in good shape. But so far nothing really looks too different. Too much different. It looks clean. Joe did a good job cleaning up, keeping everything in um, in order. There he is. Hi. What's up? <laughs> There's Jakey. Jakey was happy to see everybody. And Stella. Very excited as usual. Now she's tired from running around. Huh. Are you a good girl? Yeah. Jake, come over here and make Stella mad. Oh, Jake, you're a good boy. This is jealous. Oh, she's pretty good. Steph picked some peas. Farm. This is what we got. Back to my garden. Yep. Turnips. No. Radishes. Daikon radishes. Daikon radishes. And tons of peas. We're gonna have for dinner tonight with some veggie burgers. Because we decided we're not eating crappy meat from the grocery store anymore until we kill our own. Right. Right? We decided that about 20 minutes ago before we got home. We can't continue to be part of the problem. We have to be part of the solution. Don't eat that crap. Um, it's really bad. The more you read about it, what they put, what they do to the meat, and the animals. Basically, like just one thing that's not even that gross. It's just like disgusting, but it's not like gory gross is the chlorine baths. I heard that they give them, after they kill the chicken, before they wrap it up, they put it in 30 to 40 chlorine baths just to like kill any bacteria or to wash the feces off because the way they kill them, the feces drips over the meat. So um, they have to clean it in chlorine and then they put the little pad in the chicken thing. So when you buy the chicken breast, the little pad underneath it is to soak up the chlorine bath water. And um, also the chicken breast absorbs like, I don't know, the, the stat that I heard was 30% of the weight of that chicken breast is chlorine water from the bath. And it could also be feces if the feces is in the water. So either way, Disgusting. the whole thing's pretty nasty. So we're just looking forward to when our chickens out there in the chicken tractor are ready to process and be dinner. Yeah. And then we're going to be getting a turkey soon. At least one, probably like five. Probably need more than one. What do you mean? You oh, you need at least two, right? Well, They're if you social. Want it to keep them, like, if you want them to reproduce, then you definitely need more than one. Oh, yeah, I don't know if we're going to be reproducing them, but are we? I thought we were just going to get little ones and uh, grow them for Thanksgiving. Sounds like we need to talk about that more. Yeah, we haven't figured out exactly what we're going to do. But anyways, everything here looks good. Um, very green. Look at that. The goats are fine. They act, acted like they didn't even know who we were. Did any of them seem excited to you? Um, Daisy got up. Daisy actually got up. Daddy got up, so. And Mr. Lee's outside. Apparently, Lee gets to come outside now. Isn't he cute? All right, so anyways, we'll do some more videos tomorrow of the chicken tractor. And maybe our new B set up. But that's about it for tonight. We'll see you tomorrow.